Snow White by The Brothers Grimm Retold by Sarah Lucy Illustrated by Kimberly Barnes Once upon a time, a beautiful coon sat at her window sewing. The coon began to dream about the daughter she had always wished for. If I had a daughter, her skin would be as white as snow and her hair as black as a ramen, the coon wished. The coon's wish soon came true and she had a little girl. The coon named her Snow White. The happiness was not to last long as the coon sadly died. Before long, the king married again. The new coon was very vain and not a good mother to Snow White. Every day she asked her magic mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? The magic mirror would always reply, O oh, Kuhn, you are the fairest in all the land. As the years passed, Snow White grew more and more beautiful. One day, the Kuhn asked the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? To her horror, the mirror replied, O oh, Kuhn, you are a beauty. It's true, but Snow White has grown much fairer than you. This can't be true, cried the coon, and she ordered her guard to take Snow White far away from the castle at once. The guard led Snow White deep into the forest and left her there. Snow White was lost and very afraid. Soon she came to a small cottage. Cautiously she opened the door and crept inside. Snow White saw a table surrounded by seven small chairs and set with seven plates. Upstairs, she found seven small beds. Snow White was so tired, she couldn't resist lying down and soon fell fast asleep. Later that evening, the owners of the cottage returned. When Snow White walked, she saw seven friendly dwarfs staring back at her. You mustn't be afraid of us, said the first dwarf. We will look after you. Snow White was happy in her new home and she enjoyed helping the seven dwarfs with their chores. At the castle, the coon spoke to the magic mirror. To her horror, the mirror replied, O oh, coon, you are a beauty, it's true, but Snow White is far, far fairer than you. Furious, the coon set off to find Snow White. After searching for a long time, the coon arrived in disguise at the dwarf's cottage. Snow White trusted the old lady and let her in for a drink. Thank you, my dear, said the coon brightly. Let me give you this lovely comb to show my thanks. Snow White didn't realize that the comb was poisoned. As she brushed her hair, Snow White fell to the floor. When dwarves arrived home, they found Snow White. To their relief, her eyes opened and she told them all about the old lady and the comb. It was the wicked coon, said the dwarves. You must never open the door to a stranger again. Back at the castle, the coon asked the magic mirror again. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? To her horror, the mirror replied, O oh, Kuhn, you are a beauty, it's true, but Snow White is far, far fairer than you. Angrier than ever, the Kuhn charged back to the cottage, disguised as an old man selling shiny red apples. Open the door, dear, said the Kuhn in a gruff voice. I don't let strangers in replied Snow White. I'll just leave the apple on the windowsill for you to enjoy later, said the coon and she left. Snow White couldn't resist taking a bite of the delicious apple, but it was poisoned and she fell to the floor. When the seven dwarfs returned home, they found Snow White, but this time she did not wake up. Snow White has been sent to sleep by the evil coon, they cried. The dwarfs laid Snow White on a bed of beautiful flowers and sat beside her every day, waiting for her to wake up. One day, a prince came across the cottage. 
As he gazed at Snow White sleeping, he instantly fell in love. Suddenly, Snow White's eyes opened. When the evil queen realized that Snow White was alive, she ran into the forest, never to be seen again. As for Snow White and her prince, they lived happily ever after. The End